Hey, what's going on, man? After watching Cameron's live last night, um, it was great. It was very informative. Uh, the beginning of it, you know, we've all heard the same thing about where we grew up and how we met with uh, Jim Jones and the songs with Mace and um, Children of the Corn and all that stuff. There, I think some of that probably could have he could have he could have bypassed all that and got to you know. The part where he, uh, I guess, came, you know, he, Jim started messing with Chrissy and all that stuff there or whatever. And uh, he brought some good points. The fact that, uh, you know, Jim Jones hasn't really put nobody out at all, like for real, besides just him. Um, even the stuff between him, Jim Jones and Max B over balling and who was writing lyrics, you know, you heard that. But uh, from what I can gather is. <laughs> What I can gather is that uh, it seems like Jim Jones just wanted to be the ultimate boss of his own situation. You know, like you say, coming at people, telling people, hey, you messing with Cam. I ain't messing with you. I hope Cam take care of you this damn third. It just seemed like he wanted to control his own situation. He didn't want to be up under nobody's arm or so-and-so's hype, you know, because he started off, he was, um, you know, Jim Jones, I mean, Cameron's hype man, so, you know, I just think, and as that started coming, you know, he saw the success of balling, and started getting in other things, and it was taking off, so I just figured he just wanted to be an ultimate boss in his own right, um, start his own joint, his own thing, and, you know, he's doing good, and uh, I just think that's where it kind of, and I guess he just didn't feel maybe Cam supported it all the way, 100, or this, that, and third, or whatever, so. That's my thing on it. Uh, like I said, you want to look at it, go watch it. You know, it was like shh, dumb long, <laughs> like I'm from New York. It was dumb long, be straight up, pause. <laughs> but uh, that's my key on. That's my thoughts on it, man. Click the link below, subscribe, share, and hey, we over here on the side note. We over here making money. We over here making money, money, money. And if you're interested in making money, like anywhere for like. $1,500 to $2,000 a week. Click the link below. Find out what we're doing, man. It's great. It's simple. It's easy. All right? Y'all take it easy, man. Dip set all day.